Hello and welcome to the Informatica Cloud Automation Project course. Before we proceed further, I wanted to make it clear that this is not a beginner course for Informatica Cloud. So if you don't have any experience on Informatica Cloud data integration or even Power Center, this is not the course for you. We are going to take a use case in Informatica Cloud and trying to automate that in this course. So it is expected that you have at least some exposure towards Informatica Cloud or Power Center. Let me explain what are we going to cover in this course. In Informatica Cloud, there is no access to metadata tables like in Power Center because the entire repository is maintained at Informatica end and they are not providing users the access to the metadata. But there is an alternative method to access the metadata of the tasks which you developed in Informatica Cloud and we are going to discuss in detail how to access that metadata in this course. By knowing how to access metadata, we will open a huge automation opportunities. By accessing the metadata, we will be able to automate the review process of the tasks built in Informatica Cloud. What I meant by that is, for example, once you develop certain tasks in ISES, you will be reviewing the components before deploying it, it into other environments, right? The review might include multiple aspects starting with naming standards, coding standards, and your project and environment specific properties. These standards are mandatory for each task, and to verify them, you need to open each and every task individually. It's time consuming and repetitive to process. In this course, we'll be automating this review process by building an auto review tool so that you need not open any task manually to verify your standards. The tool will provide an Excel report at the end with all the required details of the task you need, which you can use to review everything at a glance. Additionally, this tool can also be used as an impact analysis tool. That is, for example, if there is a change in a database table, and you wanted to find out all Informatica cloud mappings using this table to incorporate that changes in the mapping. The table could be used as a source, target, lookup, or a SQL override query anywhere in any number of mappings. Imagine if there are hundreds of mappings. It is practically not possible to check each and every mapping manually, so we can use the same accelerator which we are building here to automate the impact analysis process for this use case as well. This automation is built entirely on ISES environment only. We'll be building entire automation using Informatica Cloud Mappings, Mapping Tasks, and a linear task flow and a simple shell script, which I will be sharing with you in the course. No other additional tools or applications are not required. Most importantly, this is a one-time setup tool, meaning you only have to build it once and use it every time you want. Before I conclude, I just wanted to emphasize the importance of automations in ETL projects. In my opinion, the ETL automations are very much underrated. If you really wanted to stand out among others, there are two things which you can do apart from your project deliverables. One to complete the professional certifications and the other one is to build automation accelerators. Professional certifications are a great way to show that you are good at something. But automations are a great way to show that you are authoritative in the field you are working. So I feel automations are much more valuable as it shows that you are innovative and thinking out of the box to solve a problem. They can also be showcased as a value add and an effort saving tool to the client and moreover once you have done it no one else can replicate it. So what do you think? Are you ready to build your first automation in ISAS? So let's jump in shall we?